Let us build a house where love can dwell And dog can safely live A place where saints and children tell How hearts learn to forgive Built of hopes and dreams and visions Rock of faith and vault of grace Here the love of Christ shall end divisions Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. All are welcome as we come now to encounter God's great love and mercy in these sacred mysteries. And the Lord longs to forgive our sins. So let us call to mind the times we've done harm to ourselves or others and ask God for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you shine brightly for all to see. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you opened the ears of the man who was deaf. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise up all who have died to everlasting life in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, amen. amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not, here is your God, he comes with vindication, with divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert, and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly 
and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in. And you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And he brought people to, and people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Epheta, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. We hear in sacred scriptures the many times that Jesus tells people not to tell anybody about what he's done. We call that the, the messianic secret. In other words, he wanted people to come to him um, to listen to his word, to be challenged by the good news and to, to let God's love live through them. Not so much to come and be attracted to the miracle worker and what people could get out of him. But in today's, in today's gospel, he said the famous words, the ephetha, which means be opened, right? And so to this man who was deaf and had the speech impediment, you know, just the, the simple action, you know, of, of, of touching him, you know, spitting, touching his tongue. And then there was that great, great healing that took place. But what's important here is that, you know, that we, that when he tells them, you know, don't tell anybody about this, he wants them to go and proclaim the good news, though, of God's love. Not the healing stuff and all that. That's, that's, those are wonderful things. Those are affirmations that Jesus really has power over sin and death. But we also know that as we heard from last week's reading from St. James, where he said, be doers of the word and not just hearers only. You know, in other words, you, the word of God needs to be implanted in your heart that it, it, it inf infiltrates people to do something with it. Not just to say, oh yes, I've had encounter with God or look how holy I am and how pious I am and all that. That means nothing to the Lord. What means a lot to the Lord is, you know, again, by being open to his word, to being opened like today, the deaf man, that we may have the deafness of our spiritual life sometimes, you know, that that may go away so that we can actually listen to what God is saying to us, how God is proclaiming, you know, through us or wants to proclaim through us of the goodness of God's love 
in a world that's out there that's so divided and, and so full of anger and all kinds of division, you know, that our God wants us to, to look at the fact that it's his love that joins us together. It's God's love that brings us here. And whether we're here in the church, whether we're watching home on the television, we are here together as God's people. We are here knowing that he calls us each now, you know, to get rid of our own deafness, to get rid of our own um, speech impediments of being wanting to say bad things about people, instead to proclaim the good things, the good things of God's love. So be doers of the word, not only hearers. When I was in high school, we had our, 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 um, our principal, Father Kaffer, who later on became Bishop Kaffer, and he used to send out his, his, his uh, business cards to everybody. And on the back there, he had the saying that kind of talks about this, you know, about being doers of the word. And, and that saying was, he goes, um, what on earth are you doing for heaven's sake? Now I remember my mom would sometimes say that, what on earth are you doing for heaven's sake? And we could do it in a negative way, or we can do it in the positive way. What on earth are you doing for heaven's sake? So that we can be doers of the word and let the love of the Lord shine through all that we say and do. Together we proudly profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With faith, assurance, and knowledge of Christ's unending presence in our lives, let us now storm heaven with our prayers and petitions. For the church, that we bring the good news of freedom and justice in the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For nations throughout the world, that they show no partiality and respect the humanity of all global citizens, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are deaf and hearing impaired, for those unable to speak, and for sign language interpreters who work with them, that they know full welcome in the human community and the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, for those who suffer throughout the world, for those who are joining us in prayer both remotely and in person, and for all the personal mass intentions we bring before the Lord in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. O God, you surround us with your love and presence. Help us as we approach the obstacles of this day. Teach us joy and kindness as we face any difficulties. We pray through Christ our Lord.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, George Leo, our Bishop, Gregory, his assistant, all the clergy and all your people. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Though once I fled and sought to find a shelter, Your grace. 
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May our loving God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.